This video is brought to you by Stereo Exchange, New York's finest audio retailer. Well, let's talk about integrated amplifiers now. So this is an NAD integrated amplifier. In the last segment, we talked about receivers. Now a receiver, just to review, was when we have three components in one box. The receiver contains a preamp, an amplifier, and a tuner. This is an integrated amplifier. This is similar to a receiver, except there's no radio built in. You can buy the radio as a separate piece if you want it. You can buy a good one, you can buy a great one, or you cannot buy the radio. A lot of people just listen to internet radio now or have the computer hooked up through their stereo. They don't like commercials. There's lots of reasons not to have an FM tuner. If you don't need one, you don't have to buy one. So an integrated amplifier is two pieces in one. It's the preamplifier and the amplifier, but without the radio. So what's the preamp section? That determines the flexibility. So the bass and treble controls, the volume control, the balance, all these different inputs on this, we can hook up an MP3 player, a CD player. We can hook up a separate tuner, a disc player, something else, a tape deck, something else. We have a nice convenient jack on the front for hooking up an MP3 player or our iPod without having to reach around the back. When we look at the back of this, we have lots of inputs to plug things in. All of these are part of the preamp section. The preamp section determines the flexibility of the piece. The second part that's built into an integrated amplifier is the power amplifier. You know the power amp's built in because there's speaker terminals on it. This is where you connect the speakers. So we can have the amplifier and the preamp in one piece without the tuner, that's an integrated amp. The third way to do it is having separate components where the preamp, amp, and tuner are all separate. We'll talk about that in another discussion, what the advantages and disadvantages are. But the one thing we can generally say it, about an integrated amplifier compared to a receiver is that it's a little bit more of a high-end approach. And if you're spending, say, $500 on a receiver versus $500 on an amplifier, the integrated amp is going to have a little bit higher performance. You're putting more of your money into the preamp and amp sections. You're not paying for the AM FM tuner that's in a receiver. And if you don't need it, why buy it?